Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the battery on these uh, Yukons. There's a bolt here, here, and also one as you follow this bar down right there at the bottom. Uh, usually 13 millimeters the size on these, and once you move that bar, we're going to be able to get the battery out. On the older ones, you'll see here there's a few more bolts, and it has this style bracket, so you just remove these 13 millimeter bolts. And once you get that out of the way, uh, you can move on towards the battery. Uh, so you can remove some of these covers out of the way. And it's just a 10 millimeter bolt here and one here. And we want to do the negative side first. Uh, also down here, there's a 13 millimeter tie down. It's a little wedge. So once you remove that, the battery will be free. So we'll go ahead and take our 10 millimeter socket and we'll start on the uh, negative side and then the positive. On some of the newer vehicles it does have a fuse box that's on top of the battery so once you open this up here you should be able to still get to that positive side and uh, undo that one and then the whole thing will just kind of come up with the whole fuse panel. Uh, do make sure of course that you are removing the negative side first and connecting it last. Uh, it's also nice a lot of these batteries have a built-in handle and then just lift it right out. And then when you drop in the new battery, just make sure that it sits down inside the little notch. So at the bottom of the tray has a place that goes into the side of the battery at the very bottom. So you wanna make sure that that's in its nice little notch like that. And uh, on this side, you're gonna have that wedge again. So just make sure you put that wedge with the 13 millimeter bolt back down in here to hold the battery tight where it needs to go. And also, uh, you know, make sure that the battery's incorrect with the positive side closest to you and uh, the negative on the other side. Now when you attach the battery back in, it's the opposite. So we first removed the, uh, the ground and then we removed the uh, positive. So now we're replacing the positive first and then uh, the negative or the ground and that way we won't short anything out. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.